Hello there, and welcome back to the Academy of Historical Fencing. Today I'm going to be talking to you about these HFA Armoury Mittens um, from the Black Knight range. Um, these are the original models that were uh, bought by my brother Nick Thomas, and I also have an updated version that was sent to me quite recently by HFA to uh, compare and to review. As I said, these were sent to my brother Nick Thomas. Uh, he's had them for quite a few months, and I've been sort of, well, pinching them from him for quite a while, mainly because uh, all of my other um, heavy hand sort of protection devices, gloves as such, have been falling apart or not working quite as they should. So my sparring gloves, uh, the material inside is just, well, it's almost kind of rotted or worn away, the glove, um, and the finger protectors have sort of cracked and worn down, so they're next to useless. My pro gauntlets had to go back because they failed in less than an hour. Uh, and it's a whole catalogue of uh, stuff not going quite as uh, as you would hope. But anyway, these um, HFA Armoury Mittens, uh, Nick bought them to try them out, mainly because they were supposed to be small, so nice and close-fitting and not too heavy. And uh, he's he was actually very, very pleased with them. You know, they're not the kind of uh, sort of hand protection he'd normally use, but when he wants to do some, some sort of uh, meza, some open hilt sabre, and anything longsword related, he really wanted to go for the mittens. So, as I said, I, I kind of pinched them off him and used them a lot, and I really, really do like them. So if you don't watch any more of the video, short version, I suppose I should have said right at the start, is these are, in my opinion, the best mittens on the market at the moment. Uh, they're small, they're light, they're close fitting, uh, they're nice and agile and manoeuvrable. Um, I'm gonna try and stop saying um. And they're not, super expensive so overall I think they're, they're really really good gloves but anyway on to the uh, specifics so if you look inside rah, so you see it comes off quite easily you just pull uh, off it comes uh, you've got it's a kind of suede type inner uh, here that's very grippy and then this additional piece on the front which is the part that's going to generally rest against uh, the sword, you know, the grip, when, you're, when you've got the mitten on. So you can see here. And you can, I don't know whether you can see, but your fingers will push and move inside quite well. So you can, you can change grip, you can, you, know, you can have heavy fingers or you know, the fingertips or further back on the fingers resting against the hilt of your sword. You can change grip, so you can put your thumb on the side, uh, onto the blade, uh, onto the back of the sword, so you can move it all quite easily. Um, there's nice movement on the, uh, ah, I said I'd try and stop saying, um, I'm doing my best. So if you look here, you can see you've got a nice rotation here, plenty of movement here and here. So that's three main articulated sections, plus this extra piece that's on the back of the wrist, which has a little bit of movement, and then the wrist section, which doesn't really move a huge amount. All in all though, that's some really good movement. So I'm quite happy with that. The grip inside, as I said, is very, very good. I had no issues with that either. I've taken uh, no hits on the inside of the glove, but even through basic wear, there's no pulling, nothing's coming loose. The rivets are all staying intact. The stitching is all fine. So nothing is falling apart, which is a good thing. If you wanted to change the inside, from what I can see, it's all riveted in. So it wouldn't be a, a five minute job to change the inner. I think you're gonna to have to take out, you know, you're gonna to have to pop all the rivets, put a new glove in and then rivet it back together. Uh, assuming the glove dies and it may last, it may last years anyway, I don't know. Uh, moving further back, the um, wrist protection, it's quite short on this one. Um, both myself and Nick really like this short version. And um, we're very much from the school of thought of sort of firepower and mobility over protection. So we go, we, we try to go as light and as close fitting and as agile as we can with all the kits we use. Um, we definitely don't like to bulk up um, like a tank. Uh, so this actually fits us quite nicely. So it goes just over the rotation point. So that will be about here on my wrist. So it's, it's, it, it goes reasonably far back. Um, so when you've got your jacket on, it just pushes in a little bit inside the glove, moves around, so lots of, lots of movement here, which is good. And you can see the bands, there are two parts, and then you've got an open section in the middle uh, on the inside of the hand. 
so they will actually move around a fair bit so that's good you've got a tiny gap here which it's very unlikely anything's going to go through there but it is a slight gap um, and I suppose one the only downside to this design is because it's not one continuous piece of plastic and um, they can compress so I suppose in theory you could get slight compression hit if you got hit really hard there but even then you know it's it's got padding on the inside it doesn't hurt it's really strong so that's the original glove um, I don't know what kind of naming system they use for the different versions so I'm going to call that the Mark 1 even if it isn't the Mark 1 and I'll call the new version they sent me the Mark 2 so apologies if they've got a fancy name for them now there are a couple of uh, changes that I've picked out uh, that doesn't include any kind of production changes they may have made to simplify it or uh, so they can make it a little quicker or cheaper I don't know um, so these are just things that me and Nick have picked up quite quickly so the first thing is the inner kind of the suede glove the main glove feels the same but they've taken away the kind of the softer part around the fingers um, and they've changed it so you've got this band instead um, it's like reinforced um, is it double stitched it's, it's, it's got extra stitching along here you can actually feel it inside it's almost like um, uh, like an extra strap that's part of the, of the material so you can feel that while you're gripping so it's a little grip here it feels a lot stronger um, you do notice it's there but when you're holding a sword it doesn't really matter um, but yeah so there's that change plus uh, it's actually been stitched all the way around the front of the glove so I'm hoping you can see that on the camera so that's all been stitched and it's stitched all the way on the inside of the glove here whereas the original version you can see it was just supported by the rivets on the front so I suspect um, that this is designed to make the glove last a little longer or ho hopefully a lot longer uh, so improve the strength, durability and it also ensures there are no gaps any kind of weak points where anything could fit in there so I suppose that's, that's quite good um, moving on to the thumb it's a slight change here um, the original thumb was look there it's almost like a sort of um, uh, like a hook on the end so it did sometimes slightly interfere with getting a really good um, thumb grip on the hilt or the blade the new version is completely flat I don't know if you can see there so if I've got my finger like that you can just clamp down nicely so it fits on really well now in terms of protection they've both quite clearly got hard shells around the thumb and then you've got one You've got two layers of soft material underneath um, but no additional padding on there so if you got hit there I'm not quite sure how um, then you've got puncture protection and a little bit of, uh, sort of impact protection um, but the positive is that when you push it down you've got really good grip so I, I really appreciate that being able to hold the sword properly is the number one for me so thumbs on both are excellent um, this one is slightly better, the new version is slightly better just because the way it fits onto the uh, fits flat, nice and flush onto the sword or hilt. Other big change um, is this part, so this floating ring uh, around the wrist. So if you remember, the original version had uh, the opening here, and then you also had another piece here. So there were two separate pieces of plastic um, riveted to the inner glove. Uh, and then with a gap and a little bit of elastic here the new version uh, this is quite a bit bigger I suppose I should show the two together so you can see the original and then the new version and like so so the new version is a there's a little bit more weight on there it's full coverage all around the wrist and part of the forearm so there's no way for this now to compress onto the onto the rest so it's much tougher uh, the inside part here is not vastly different so you've got a little bit of a gap and that gives you a little bit of movement and it can pull and stretch and move around a little bit but uh, your overall protection has gone up significantly here at the expense of it being a slightly larger ring now I don't know if it's an option if you can choose between whether to have the original or the new version from what I can see on the website this is the new version but in HFA um, we're quite keen to take on any kind of suggestions or changes 
Uh, maybe if you wanted to order the shorter version, you just need to specify it. Just ask them anyway. They're, uh, they're an approachable bunch. Um, I'm sure they will make, exa make it exactly as you want it. But anyway, both of them very good. But this one's slightly larger, a little bit heavier, um, and uh, significantly more wrist protection. Other than that, in terms of um, obvious changes, I can't see anything massive. Uh, I'll just do the R again. The original version here, you had the two plastic sections and then they were just held together with elasticated pieces here. The new version, actually this is quite significant, uh, has, I hadn't really noticed that, it's got a sort of an inner band and that's the part that's held in with the elastic there. So the, the, um, uh, this part, uh, this floating ring, is actually detached from the hand protection here. So, okay, yeah, so that, that has actually changed things quite a bit. So you've effectively increased the mobility on, on the wrist here by allowing this to be detached from this inner section. So that, that, that's quite a nice improvement as well. Uh, but I think that's about it in terms of the changes. Um, I think I mentioned that there were no rivets on the front here because it's, yeah, I did mention it because it's stitched. Um, so if I put one on, so I've got one from each now. This is the, this is the new one. This is the original. So you can see the size difference. Uh, short version of the review. Well, you've got to the end, so I suppose a short version is irrelevant now. Um, as I said towards the start, I really like these mittens. If you're looking to buy any mittens right now, uh, these are the ones I would recommend. Um, they're smaller than the Spares gloves, even the latest iteration of the Spares gloves. I can't compare them to the Kavitan ones because I don't have them. Uh, they're more, they feel more durable, they feel much tougher, and a little bit smaller than the sparring glove mittens. And I feel much safer with these hardened plates than I did with that. I'm not quite sure what the material is that they use for sparring gloves, but this feels much tougher. So um, overall, they feel light, um, fast and small. Um, so really good gloves. Uh, HFA uh, are manufacturing still, even though they're in the heart of uh, Ukraine. So if you want to get these or if you've got any questions, pop along to the, uh, the link in the description. HFA Armory is the company. Um, and, um, and get in touch with them. Uh, I, th I think you'll be quite happy with them. I certainly am. I think Nick is happy now that I've got my pair. He can have his pair back. Uh, he was a little grumpy about that. Um, any questions about the, the mittens or anything else fencing related, um, please pop a question in the comments section and we'll get back as quickly as we can. Um, and thank you for watching.